Hey everyone, Izzy from Endless RV. We have a problem right now with our RV. Not a big deal, but this would be considered on an RV inspector's checklist, a life safety issue. This is a very easy fix. You don't have to go to a shop. I already did one of these one time. I'm gonna do a different item this time and just bring you on a step-by-step -step on how to do this. If you look above me, you can see there are five marker lights. Out of those five lights, four are lit up, but one is obviously right over to my right of the camera is not lit up. That LED light is out. I don't know how long it's been out for, but that would be considered a life safety issue. And they can also get you pulled over and fined. This is a very simple fix, guys. It's gonna cost you probably less than $20 with the silicone and everything you need. Probably about 30 to 40 minutes of your time. We're gonna take you on a step-by-step -step on how to fix that. So here are some of the things you're gonna need, guys. Of course, you need the LED replacement light. I'm going to show you there's a way to put this in. This is $9 from Newmar. Maybe you can get it on Amazon for less. I don't know. You just need some butt connectors. These are a couple of bucks, guys. We have these. If you don't necessarily need this, but if you can get them, this is a Klein wire stripping tool. And sorry for the noise background wind it's pretty windy out here then a klein crimping tool these are really good we'll put them in the links below just a plastic spatula or something like this just to kind of get that old light out uh, vice grips pliers needle nose pick tools that you might need and electrical tape this is super simple oh one more thing sorry that you're really going to need i have it in my pocket to keep it warmed up some silicone now the first thing i'm going to do is remove that light before we get to that we recently did a video talking about people that have been unsubscribed to our channel and not purposely unsubscribing youtube just unsubscribing them that has resulted in hundreds and hundreds of people commenting leaving us messages resubscribing we're going to link that up above the reason why we say this check to see if you're subscribed to us guys you may be not subscribed so if you're not and you want to subscribe make sure you hit that subscribe and also the notification bell so when we get a new video out you are made aware of it and you get the alert all right guys this came out really easy you just take those i call them pressure pliers vice grips. i don't know what they're called but you're just going to take that red part just kind of pull it right out and you can see it comes right out there's two wires on this guys there is a black and there is a white right now we're just going to cut right over here and then we're going to splice the new wiring in and uh, use the butt connectors we'll then pull everything out and we'll uh, reseal everything up first thing you're going to do guys i'm just going to cut here with wire cutters bam cut keep the this part's no good that's garbage i'm actually going to reuse the rubber seal that's here there's no need to take that off i'm then going to use the dental tool just kind of i don't know if you can see this i'm going to get right in the middle here and just your hands in the way sorry i'm just going to cut the protective coating that way i can get at those wires just peel back i'm going to splice the wires you see i'm just going to peel this back give it a little bit all right cut here kind of separate them back a little bit what's great about the klein tool the stripping tool you can do this old school but if you just and again i don't know if you can see this but if you just get the appropriate gauge you put it in there and it just strips everything right out so this is probably going to be 14 no actually it's 16 get right into the 16 gauge and it gives you a perfect clean strip of the wiring so we got everything stripped back. Uh, you're just gonna wanna test to make sure that it lights up before you start you know, using the, the butt connector. So I'll just do a quick twist on one and on the other, and there it is. Of course, you wanna turn on your lights to make sure the lights are on. So what we're gonna do, we know that's good. We're gonna twist everything up really nice. We're gonna use the butt connectors, then we'll tape everything up and we'll seal it, and that's gonna be it. You're gonna save yourself a lot of time and money than going to an RV repair shop. What's nice about the Klein tools, again, is that you see there's color codes on here. There's a red, blue, and yellow. Usually corresponds with the color of the connector you have. So I'm just gonna put this in the blue, which is the middle one, right? And then it's gonna just crimp it perfectly every single time. It's gonna crimp it perfectly, which is pretty awesome. See, that's a nice tight crimp there. Come over to the other side. And it allows you to do these things one-handed, which is pretty awesome. As long as you have a little bit of a grip, It'll work out really well and just give it the second hand to really lock it in. 
and there's a nice tight, tight crimp right there. Of course, I'll tape that up once I'm all done to make sure it stays there. So you can see those crimps are nice and tight. I'm going to back it up with some electrical tape just to kind of seal the deal. I'll wrap that crimp all the way. Again, sorry for the wind, guys, but- Calm it, down a little bit. It's Yeah, it's windy, but you know, when we left New Jersey, we're down in Virginia right now, it was what, 16, 16. degrees? It was miserable. Now, today, it's going to be still a little early. It's going up to 62, so I'll take the wind at 60. 62 over the misery at 14 50s and 60s when we get back home which is i'm not complaining about that's that that's unseasonable that's pretty but awesome it'll be nice. so i'll tape all this up and then i'll tape them together then we'll slide everything back in we have one final step and uh we'll be safe not only we're we going to save money not going to the repair shop we're going to save money on and time by not getting pulled over and getting fines because nobody wants to get a fine for a stupid little nine dollar part right so everything is taped up i kind of jammed it back in there i'm going to do something that the factory didn't do this goes kind of locks in here it may not be necessary i'm just going to put a bead of caulk sorry of silicone around here. Is it necessary? I don't know. Is it gonna hurt you? Definitely not. So this is just clear silicone, 100%. So I'm just gonna put a little bead around here. I don't, uh, silicone smells so disgusting. I think they make like an odorless one. You should make an odor, like a nice odor oh, one. It smells foul. Yeah, imagine like somebody made one like- flavored silicone. Right, they should. Or scented, not flavored. So being that we're using silicone, you wanna do this when the weather is a little bit warmer. Like you don't wanna do this if it's 14 degrees out because this stuff's not gonna cure too well. But today it's gonna be up in the 60s and it'll be all good. Silicone's kind of serving two purposes. Number one's gonna kind of lock it in there. And number two, it's gonna seal everything up. So that's in there. It's gonna push it in. There it is. I'm gonna clean this up just with my finger, anything that's excess, and we're done, guys. How long did that take? This may be a 10 minute video. How long did it take, hon? I know you're on the ladder hanging right now. <laughs> this feels like um, forever for me. But that's it. This this one looks like it's starting to crap out, so I'll probably be replacing that one next. Good but job. that's, yeah, all you wanna do, again, we did a full video on a checklist that you wanna be doing before trips. We caught this on the checklist. So I ordered it, it took a couple of days, literally $9 shipped. In the comments below, guys, let us know have you had any of these issues? Have you gotten pulled over for this? We're gonna to try to be doing some more DIY videos because that's kind of how what we started this channel. If you like videos like this, guys, to the left of us, we'll put our DIYs playlist, we'll put our RV newbies playlist, and for myself and MJ, it's a journey of a lifetime, and we'll see you on the road.